My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable two-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty dinners using everyday ingredients. So for dinner tonight, we are having this frozen pizza that I picked up from Aldi a while back ago. It is a two pizza value pack. It's been in my freezer for a few months now. Um, I picked it up because I heard it was really good and these are really hard to find in my store. So in the box you get a pepperoni pizza and a cheese pizza. And if you followed our channel for a while, you know that Howard and I really like frozen pizzas. We really like the Motor City frozen pizza. And this reminds me of that pizza. So let me show you. It comes in the little tray, just like Motor City Pizza Company does. And then once it's done, you just take it out, put it on a cookie sheet. And that's what I have done here. I tasted a little bit of it and it's very similar to Motor City Pizza. It may not be exactly the same, but it's pretty tasty. So we're eating the cheese pizza now. And then there is a pepperoni pizza. Um, it comes with a pepperoni pizza as well. I put that back in the freezer. Let me show you the bottom of the crust here. So here's the side. And then here's the bottom of the crust. Like I said, it's pretty good. This two pack of pizzas was $9.99. If you buy Motor City Pizza, you know theirs is about $7.50 for one pizza. Um, it's really good. Of course, we could have added on additional toppings, but we didn't. But I would definitely buy this again. Um, they only come into Aldi seasonally. So if you like Motor City Pizza Company, definitely give these a try when you get a chance. All right, so this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, I made roasted chicken, and I did make this a few weeks ago, so I'll make sure to link the video in the description box so you can get my recipe for baked chicken or roasted chicken. And with it, I made some rice orzo pilaf from Trader Joe's, and then I just sauteed up some fresh Brussels sprouts with pancetta. So here is the rice mix that I used from Trader Joe's. We like it a lot, it has a great flavor. And then here are the Brussels sprouts. The Brussels sprouts are from Aldi. Uh, the bag is actually a microwavable bag, but I sauteed mine in olive oil and some pancetta. And then I just used this steak seasoning um, with it or buttery steakhouse seasoning with it, I should say. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so I am trying out a new recipe for dinner tonight. It is cheesy bacon barbecue chicken. I'll leave the recipe in the description box. So I seasoned two chicken breasts that I split in half with that barbecue seasoning and then I just browned it in the skillet. And next I am adding in some um, barbecue sauce. This is one of our favorites. We really like this stuff a lot. And so you're just gonna put barbecue sauce on all of the chicken and then I'm just gonna spread it in. Next, I'm going to take some Colby Jack cheese and just spread it on top of the chicken. And lastly, I'm just gonna um, top the chicken with some cooked chopped bacon. And then I'm just gonna pop this in the oven. I think the recipe said for about 20 minutes or so, um, or until it's you know nice and brown and bubbly. And I did add way more cheese than uh, the recipe calls for because we do like cheese. So here's our dinner, here is the chicken, and then with it, I just made some mashed potatoes. These are not homemade mashed potatoes. I am using this. Um, I normally don't care for um, instant mas mashed potatoes, but I don't always feel like cooking them. So these were a new buy for me a while back ago. I tasted them. They don't, I mean, they taste like cheese, they're savory, but I, I wouldn't be able to identify cheddar. Um, but they're still pretty good. And then I'm also serving some canned green beans. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So we are doing quick and easy for dinner tonight. I made these take and bake cheesy breadsticks from Aldi. I have not bought these things in a really long time and so um, I'm excited to give them a try again. And with it, I am just serving some tomato bisque that is also from Aldi. I got this a while back ago, probably a month or so ago. Um, and it's a tomato bisque, I'm sorry, tomato Parmesan bisque. 
and I tried it. It is not my cup of tea. It is very sweet. I didn't realize how much sugar it had in it. So the third ingredient is sugar. So if you like a sweet tomato bisque, you'll definitely like this. Howard does like it. For me, it's just, it's just a little bit too sweet. I probably would not buy it again, but we are just going to dunk our cheesy breads in the tomato soup, kind of like if it were a um, grilled cheese sandwich. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, I am making a quick stir fry based on some ingredients that I have on hand. So I am going to use these yakisoba noodles. Um, you get three packages of cooked noodles and then you get the um, seasoning packages that come with the noodles. So I'm gonna use that. I'm going to use this um, chicken and I'm also going to use some green onions, the entire bag of coleslaw. Then I'm going to make a side of uh, stir fried broccoli and I'll show you how everything turns out. Okay, so here is dinner and I really like it a lot. It has a wonderful flavor. I did not have to add any additional seasoning. I just used the packages that came with the noodles and that was enough to season the rest of the vegetables and the meat. And then here is the broccoli. Um, I did add some uh, sesame oil to the noodles to give it a little bit more flavor. But anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time.